Hey everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to install Drupal by using Lando. Okay, what is Lando? Lando is a free, open source, powerful DevOps tool and it's built on Docker. So we need Docker for Lando installation, Lando installation. and uh, uh, we can set up the Drupal site, Drupal site very quickly. And first you need to download a exe file to install a, a Lando. So this is the link. I will add this link in our description. So I'm using the latest version. Uh, if I use a lower version, I'm getting issues. So I always prefer you to uh, download the latest version of the Lando. And here I downloaded the exe file. So uh, you have to download the exe file and do the setup in your machine. So once that is done, go to your command prompt. So for Lando installation, I won't prefer uh, to use Git bash because up arrow, down arrow will not work as efficiently in Git bash. So I recommend you to use command prompt. So I'm going to uh, desktop. So once Lando is installed, you have to go to the uh, desktop or where, wherever you want to do the installation, you can do. It's not mandatory to such folders. And I'm going to create a folder. I already installed a Lando and also Docker in my instance. So now I'm going to uh, create a Drupal project by using a composer. Create project Drupal slash recommended project and name of your folder Lando Drupal. Enter. So it will download your uh, complete Drupal package in your desktop. So this is a this is the folder which we downloading now. So let it download one side. I will show the Docker. So I don't have any images or container right now. Once you've done the installation with the Lando, you can see some images are created here and containers also. Okay. So currently we don't have anything. Let's complete the installation and we'll come back here and to check it, okay? Let it learn, download. Yeah, it's downloaded now. And next, what you have to do, you have to go to the folder, Lando Drupal. And next, Lando init. I will list all the uh, comments in the comment description section. So you have to mention what is the code base for your uh, app, for your Drupal installation. So this is the current directory I already opened. So I'm going to select current directory. And what recipe it is, it is Drupal 9. So you have to go down and select Drupal 9, enter. And uh, what is the uh, web route related to your uh, any destination? So I have a web folder here. So I have to mention web here. Enter and what is the name of your uh, Lando application? Okay, and this is uh, Drupal Lando setup. So you can give whatever you want. <clears throat> so once this is done, next what you have to do, we initialized the Lando. Once this is done, when you go to your uh, uh, folder which, which we downloaded in the desktop, you can see there is a new YML called dot Lando dot YML file. So this is the main file for your Lando uh, installation. So this will be generated. Once that is generated, what you have to do, you have to do the Lando start. Lando start will install your group. I, it will not install the Drupal. It will initialize the URL for your uh, Drupal site. Okay. So it will give some sort of URL. So whatever URL you want, you can get it. Okay, so since it's uh, creating a, a container in your uh, Docker, it's uh, downloading all the layers. You can see it here. As like previous video, how we saw the when we create the containers, it's downloading the layers in same way. Here also the layers are getting downloaded. So let this download fully. Thank you. 
So now uh, the land is stored is done successfully. So next, what do you have to do? You have to uh, copy any URL which is here. So I'm going to copy this. Go to your Chrome, paste it without any spaces and enter. Took us to the Drupal installation page. Click on save and continue. So now you have to select profile here. I'm going to select standard. So save and continue. So now we are re redirected to the, the database configuration. So you have to give the database name. So for that, what you have to do, you have to go to the command prompt and type lambda info. So this will give you the database credentials. So here um, you can see internal collection database and the port and credential for database name and username password, D9, D9, D9 and database 3306, okay? So Drupal 9, Drupal 9, Drupal 9, Drupal 9. And for advanced options, you have to give here database. Database and save and continue. So Drupal started uh, installing. So now Drupal installation done successfully. Next, you have to configure the site name, site email ID, all. So let's configure those. Lando Drupal installation. Mail ID. Username, password for admin login. And regional. And save and continue. So now we successfully installed Drupal by using Lando. You can go to uh, anywhere and you can install module or whatever you want. You can do with Lando uh, Drupal installation now. So now we successfully done that. And next, let's go to the Docker and see containers and images are created or not. So you can see here, right? So Lando installed some images and also it created some containers, right? So these are all uh, created by Lando by itself. When you run the Lando start, all this will be created by automatically, okay? And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, bye.